AKA, I have the voice that most conservatives want, <laughs> <laughs> coupled with a face that would get me on most conservatives' wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> I say my name's Alex Ansu. It's, it's Alexander Ansu and Ponza. I just like to like, shorten it a bit, just to make it easier for everyone, and add myself at times. Um, it's double-barreled, but it's double-barreled in the African way that I named after my grandfather and my great-grandfather, as opposed to the English way, which is because you want your kids to sound a bit more pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, both of those methods of double-barreling are better than the American version, which is, I can't believe you had sex with my daughter because we don't believe in abortion around here. <laughs> <laughs> Roe v. Wade. It must be a fishing joke. Um, I, I talk about teenage pregnancy as if it's a, a purely American problem. It, it most certainly isn't. Um, I'm, while I go to Liverpool University, I'm very much a North London lad. Uh, my area of North London, Enfield, um, it used to have the highest rates of teenage pregnancy, not in London, not in England, uh, not in the UK. We're talking the entire European Union. Um, oh. The way I like to think of it is, with this whole Brexit problem we're having, what they really should have done was just lowered the voting age, because um, the 15 year olds I know, they're not pulling out of anything. <laughs> London, the UK, we've got, we've got a few other problems going on right now. Uh, we've got the whole problem of knife crime. That's a whole big issue. Um, around my area, we've got these knife amnesty boxes where, you know, you take your knife that you've got, your moniker of crime, um, and you put it in the box, put a little lever, and what that does is it gives you a little tote bag um, with the knife amnesty logo, showing everyone that you're now defenseless. <laughs> <laughs> I've got kids in my local area who are like, right, my grandma told me to get rid of all the knives, but she also told me that I need to post all these letters. Um, Anyway, that's why my postmen like to wear chainmail gloves. <laughs> if you think that's bad, you should have seen the mix-up of the needle exchange. <laughs> I've never seen sweaters knitted so fast in my life. <laughs> <laughs>